Okay, so we're doing much better today over in this bowl right here is her breakfast for the day. And I've just been using treats so far right now. I'm really working on her, I'm on the video. I'm really working on her impulse control and the ability to not need to rush the things that she wants. So I've just been doing some obedience with that bowl down there on the ground, working on her out. And I'm really trying to solidify the out without needing leash pressure. So I did switch her to a prong collar just because I was really fighting with her with a slip lead. It just was not making a lot of progress. Um, and I, prior to this stuff, I was helping her understand the mechanics of the prong collar and how to release that pressure. And um, that was something that I was attempting with the slip lead and just, again, not really having a lot of success. So we switched over to the prong collar and she's honestly a much clearer headed dog because of the, the much more contrast between reinforcement and, uh, I'm going to use the word punishment, but that's the scientific terminology of punishment and not punishment like how humans perceive it. So um, applying something to discontinue a behavior, so positive punishment, so a correction essentially. So um, I think that she really needs to understand right from wrong. So I'm going to reward, reward the things that I like, really, really reward those. So she gets food, she gets her food, if she gets treats, things like that. And then if she doesn't do, or she does something that I dislike, I'm going to either correct it through um, a correction, if I think, if it's something that we've been working on, or I'm going to use a little bit of negative reinforcement. So I will apply a pressure, something that we've been working on, her moving into that, creating slack in that pressure, that leash tension, is going to be the reinforcement aspect of it. So she is, uh, um, negative reinforcement is taking away an unpleasant situation to increase the frequency of an event. So I, and a pressure, excuse me, I cannot talk, a pressure is applied, the leash pressure. When she moves into it, the pressure is removed and that is going to reinforce and hopefully can uh, increase the possibility of that behavior continuing. So, um, mostly what I've been using is negative reinforcement, especially with this out. So if she would move over to it, I would say the outward with that tension because she's dragging towards the bowl with food. When she moves back towards me, that pressure goes away and then I reinforce that, I reward that. So um, I did give one correction uh, early before I started making this video and that correction alone almost removed the need for negative reinforcement with this. So she now understands a clear picture of what I'm looking for. The act of dragging towards the bowl is not an option. So I just kind of want to demonstrate, I'm going to move around, I'm going to do a little bit of obedience. I apologize because I don't have the thing that makes my phone follow. So if I go in and out of the shot a couple of times, I apologize. So I'm really wanting to help her understand how to follow my handler. She's super, super good. Um, just kind of fidgety with good taking this. So she moves towards the bowl, out, nope, out, yes, good. See, I didn't have to really touch the leash. I kept that slack there, good. And then I rewarded her for moving away from it. Good girl, let's go, good. So we walk back to the end, nope, out, uh -huh. out, good. So I'm not gonna give her a treat. I used the marker good to show that I like that, that she moved away from it, but she did need an initial correction. Let's go, we're gonna walk past it again, good. Give her some treats past it. Good girl. We're gonna push the bar a little bit. Let's go. Nope. Okay. Good. Yeah. Nope. Good. Yeah. Super. Let's go. Good. There we go. Super girl. Let's go. Try that again. Let's go. Yes. Good job. Yes. Super. Good. Good. No jumping. Very good. And I've been trying to work on this down a little bit. She's not really understanding it. Um, it's kind of a, yes, like a weird little aroused down where she's super amped up. I would like to get it to where she goes into a nice relaxed down, but that might be, yes, a while before that happens. Um, really just wanting her to learn how to settle down. She gets herself so worked up um, and she makes herself sick almost, like she's choking and um, panting really heavily. So those markers that I'm using, the yes, the good, and the okay, those are gonna help 
and then no. That's going to help her understand the clarity of the picture that I'm looking for. Yes means come get reinforcement from me. Good means I want you to remain in that behavior. No, if she comes out of behavior prematurely, and then okay means you're done. Go ahead. Very nice. Good. Okay, we get it. Girl, so now I'm gonna let her eat, and I'm gonna totally leave her alone. I'm not gonna do anything because she worked so hard for this meal. I really just wanna give her space and leave her alone. I'm not gonna let my dogs out. I'm not gonna do the thing where I feed her. I just wanna give her space and let her have that moment to just eat her food. Um, I soaked it in water so that I, I figured when she finally got it, she would try to inhale it. So I soaked it in a lot of warm water to kind of help mash it up a little bit so that she doesn't choke and vomit it up. When she's done with it, I'm gonna bring her back over to me. We're gonna go right back into obedience just to help take the stress off the meal, the meal uh, activity. Was that a good breakfast? Was that a good breakfast? All right, good job.